ArcGIS Online users can now use spatial analysis tools built directly into the Map Viewer. You can analyze your own data, or data that's been publicly available on ArcGIS Online, or a combination of both. This makes ArcGIS Online a powerful platform for analysis. In this video, we'll give an overview of the spatial analysis capabilities in ArcGIS Online. To access these analysis tools, you must first add a feature layer that you would like to analyze in the Map Viewer. You can perform analysis on many different types of data, feature services, shapefiles, CSV files, KML, GeoRSS web feeds, and ArcGIS Online map notes and route layers. In the table of contents, click the small arrow next to the layer and select Perform Analysis. This will bring up the analysis tools. Keep in mind that to use analysis, you need to log in with publisher or administrator privileges. Summarize data tools allow you to summarize values in the analysis layer based on the second layer. For example, you may want to answer questions such as what the total green space within different cities is or what is located nearby. The Find Existing Locations and Derive New Location tools are used to identify areas that meet a number of different criteria you specify. These criteria can be based on attribute queries, for example parcels that are vacant, and spatial queries, for example within one kilometer of a river. The areas that are found can be selected from existing features such as existing land parcels, or new features can be created where all the requirements are met. The Find Similar Locations tool finds the locations that are most similar to reference locations based on criteria you specify. For example, you can find which of your stores are most similar to your top performers. The Enrich Layers tool enhances your geographic data with localized information about people, places, and businesses. For example, what kind of people live here? What do people like to do in this area? What are their habits and lifestyles? What kind of businesses are there in this area? Various demographic data is available for more than 100 countries around the world. Understanding patterns created by features can help to answer many questions. The Find Hotspots tool creates a map showing statistically significant spatial clustering in your data. For example, you can use this tool to uncover unexpected hotspots and cold spots of high and low home values, crime densities, and traffic accident fatalities. Many spatial problems can be solved using distance or proximity. These tools help you answer some of the most commonly posed questions in spatial analysis. What's nearby? Or what's closest? Create buffers creates areas of equal distance from features. Create drive time areas finds areas around locations that can be reached within a specific drive time or drive distance to answer questions such as, where can I go from here within a 30 minute drive? How about during rush hour? Find Nearest identifies those places that are the closest to known locations, such as the closest hospital to an accident hotspot. The tools in the Data Management category give you direct access to manipulate your data. You can use these tools to join different layers based on location, combine layers of the same type, aggregate areas using an attribute, and extract your data from My Content, which can then be further analyzed. Now let's take a closer look with a short demo. In this case, we'd like to analyze the recent significant earthquakes in the Southern California region. The United States Geological Survey provides live earthquake data as GeoRSS feeds. In the ArcGIS Online default map viewer, we can add the live earthquake feed from USGS. Now that the data is in the map as a feature layer, we can use the analytical tools. To better understand which local populations could have been impacted by these earthquakes, you can use the Create Buffers tool to create a 20-mile area around each earthquake location. As you can see, analysis results are added to the map as a hosted feature service, which can then be further analyzed. Now that you have an overview of analytical capabilities in ArcGIS Online, explore how you can use the tools to answer your geospatial questions.